Well, hello, hello, all my amazingly beautiful Sagittarius friends. My name is Libra Empress, and we're going to be discussing your tarot for today. Now, remember that this is a general reading, and this is for yours as well as for my entertainment. And also, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. That way, you'll always be up to date with the content that I produce, and you'll be a part of our family, all right? All right. Now, before we get started, um, I'm on my break at work, so that's how I'm doing this. That's why the screen's pointed down. I'm using my laptop because my phones are having issues. But, um, yeah, so I've got um, it laid out. Oh, and also, be, so you don't have to see my whole work uniform, because I, I value the privacy of my company that I work for. You know, I want to keep my channel and the company I work for separate. Okay, now my beautiful Sagittarius, I've got three piles here, past, present, future. Now remember that this is not set in stone when we get to the future and that it can change anytime you so choose it, okay? And also, I've got a fourth pile here. Now remember that this is a general reading, not a personal reading, so it will be like me throwing out a net. When we get, when we get past the third, which is the future, it'll either resonate or it won't. Now this fourth pile is all the energy between past, present, and future, okay? And then I've got the bottom card. Are you ready? All right, so this is gonna be a little bit weird, so bear with me, and if you don't wanna stare at my belly button, you could do what I always do. I always lay in bed with earphones on, and then I flip the phone over and I just listen to the tarot reader until I fall asleep. Not because it's boring, because it's soothing, and I like listening. All right, past energy we're dealing, or you're dealing with a five of hazards, poverty, financial loss, and a lot of anxiety. Okay, too many issues, not enough tissues. You were worried as all hell, even though you're working night of hazards, so you're dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Ambitious, material possessions, and entrepreneur. So you were getting paid and getting everything you want, but you weren't getting everything you need. And so it goes like this. Were you spending money on shit that didn't need to be spent? Like for example, when I was growing up, I was told you pay your rent, you pay for your food, your lights and gas, and make sure your children were taken care of. And then everything else, like car payment and, and like other goody stuff, you know, that's just an additive, okay? You were getting everything you want, but not everything that you actually need. Okay. You're dealing with a three of swords, heartache, jealousy, and loss. So, you've got like a third party thing going on here, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a, another person interfering within your relationship. Unless you invited it in, or your significant other invited it in, it could also be a family member um, telling you, that you should dump your spouse or telling your spouse that they should dump you you know what I mean people like that but it also could be a toxic trait like um, porn drugs alcohol video games too much of something you know like putting anything above your relationship like workaholics and money and you know what I mean You're going through the ringer, weren't you, Sagittarius? My beautiful Sagittarius. But you are following the Cancer card, which is the chariot, traveling, conquest, and making progress. Oh, hell yes. You were like, Sk see you later, alligator. I'm out. Current energy is the high priestess, mystery, intuition, and secret. So. There's a mystery going on. There's secrets going on around you. But let me tell you something. You have to look within. And don't mistake it for fear. But look within your heart and soul. And find out what the hell is going on. Because nobody's telling you what's going on. Alright? Six of Hazards. Generosity favors rewards and strings attached. So, there's this person in the background who's trying to pull your strings. He's saying, if you be my 
lawnmower assassin and kill those flowers i'll give you this juicy piece of meat and you're like i'm a vegetarian zombie and he's like i don't know what that means but here string attach this and you're like oh my gosh i hate strings attached dangle a damn carrot in front of me <laughs> can you imagine a vegetarian zombie i can they revert back to eating brains after they're dead <laughs> Unless we write it as other. Hmm, that'd be a good plot. I'll think about it. I don't know if I want to write a zombie book. Alright, so currently you're into four cups. Your board is all hell, dissatisfied, and you're very weary. You're just like counting the ceiling tiles and bored out of your mind. I'm sorry for yawning. I apologize. Okay, so. You're going into hermit mode, my beautiful Sagittarius, which is a Virgo energy. Everybody wants a piece of you, but you just want to take care of yourself. Solitude, respite, and self-reliance. So, you are pampering yourself. And that's good, because you need to. You work so damn hard. You need to show yourself some love. Okay, future energy, four hazards, selfishness, hoarding, and possessiveness, I believe. That you're hoarding. You're very possessive. Are you possessive of your relationship? Are you possessive of someone that you're not with? Are you possessive of your food, your home, any of your objects? Like that cat of ravioli that these people want to borrow. And you're like, whoa, you want to borrow it? Are you going to chew it and then spit it back into the can and then pass it back to me? Like, come on. You either have it or you don't. You don't, no, <laughs> no Logian back. Logan, oh my gosh, nobody even says Logie anymore. At least as far as I know. Ooh, flash from the past. Okay, so you'll be dealing with a Seven of Swords, Theft, Sabotage, and Deception. Someone's hardcore hitting you. And you're juggling and struggling and all the burdens and all that shit. But you don't let it hold you back. Because you're um, a three of wands. Cooperation. You'd think Mercury Retrograde was back. Cooperation, progress, and group effort. You're having fun. Doing you. Now, let's talk about the fourth pile. Oh, you're organizing this. Sorry. You're all waiting so patiently. Okay. So you're at a five of wands. Coral, strife, and competition. Now you remember that here's the deal. You shouldn't be competing with anybody unless it's with yourself. To better yourself, alright? To continue to set goals and conquer them. Because there's no one better than you than you. But you're no better than everybody else. You know what I mean? Everybody's on their own path. So you're fighting with someone over something. See? You both think that it's very important. But it's, from my perspective, it's something stupid. And you're losing your friendship over it. As your friendship crawls out the door. I'm surprised I don't see an ace of swords. Yeah, six of swords. Traveling, leaving the past behind, and transitioning. Alright. So... You're cutting all. Oh, excuse me. You're cutting all the emotional baggage and mental baggage, clearing out the cobwebs, and you're heading to calmer waters. See, look, you're paying attention to the moon. There are secrets. Dealing with the lovers, or someone who you're either dealing with a Gemini or someone very passionate, right? Someone full of romance, sex, and blinded by passion. But if you took all that shit away, would you have anything concrete to hold you together? Would you still be with that person if all that stuff was gone? Most people would say yeah, some people would say no, or vice versa. It all depends on your situation and who you are as an individual. Okay? Two of Swords, just indecision, difficult decisions, and different views. I swear that 
all the zodiac signs are like this so far, at least from Cancer all the way to you. They all have this card. Now, I'm going to tell you what I tell everybody else. Why are you using a shotgun and a um, chainsaw? Are you one of those people who don't watch zombie movies and know what, what alerts zombies? They're not deaf and blind. They are kind of dumb, though. The car, car, they're carnivores. They're hungry. Always hungry. So, go borrow Jason Voorhees' machete, Daryl Dixon's crossbow, or Michonne's katana. The only sound the dead should be hearing is their bodies falling. Katunk. Or unless they fall in water. Splash. Splish, splash. I was taking a bath. Yeah. Is that like a little Richie or so? I don't know. I had his bubble bath saw, um, tape back in the day. Him and John Lithgow. Different people, different VHS, not VHS tapes, cassette tapes. So, like I said before, you're dealing with the moon card. Deception, secrets, and intuition, and also a Pisces. Alright, so here's the deal. You need to go to sleep. Your reading's telling you to pay attention to your dreams. Write them down and Google them the next morning. You've got ancestors, the dead or angels watching you while you sleep which is i mean sometimes can be unnerving but other times you know but um i'm sorry i keep yawning I'm trying to keep myself awake on break i have a section up called dream meanings and it i referenced and got all my material from astrology.com's um, dream dictionary and decided to bring them over to you so that you would have easy access to me telling you what the dream meaning means. That way you're not having to research it up. But if, if by chance, um, I keep yawning. Oh, man, we gotta get this over with. Alright, so if by chance um, I don't have it up, you can Google it. But daily dream meanings pop up, so there's that. Okay. You're being told stuff. You got a six of wands, so you're gaining success and recognition for your victory. Alright. But you're dealing with a loss, sadness, and grief. So you lost someone that you love, a relationship someone watching you with, with their heart on their sleeve there's a bunch of people in the background that know what you're going through but don't understand what you're going through if that makes sense because you're you're at a loss for words but ultimately you've got the world card here so let you've learned your lesson the end of journey and completion so you can start fresh as the fool when you get there nine of hazards prosperity independence and confidence so while the world was losing their shit, you had your shit together, right? You weren't running around like a chicken with your head cut off or anything. Nope. You were building an empire, a business, and you're on the move, traveling and expansion and you're on the move. You're following what makes your heart beat. You've been thinking a lot about you know, you've got a lot of nostalgia and memories. You've been thinking about an old flame lately. And I think you miss them. But this also means that they will be coming back. But you've got travel cards, so you could be traveling towards them. You gained recognition for your hard work and your learning skills. Okay. And you're coming something coming at something with an Ada Hazard, which is a new approach. You're very ingenuitive and inventive, okay? And like I said before, you've started over as the fool. New journey, first steps, and hasty choices. So, you're headed to 
and a lever. I see. Someone you can't get out of your head. You're still feeling the loss of the situation though. But But you cleared out the clutter, oh, the mind clutter, dropping all the baggage, and you're wanting to start fresh. So keep doing what you do to make you happy, all right? Because ultimately, you've got the bottom card, which is the star, you're dealing with an Aquarius, getting recognition, inspiration, and achievement. So your wish fulfillment, if this person makes you happy, go to them, okay? Got this. Now, I hope that um, everything goes fine and you, you know that you are very blessed and not alone. So thank you so much for listening to me. My name is Libra Empress. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. And join me again for tomorrow's, um, no, Monday's Daily Horoscope or tomorrow's Tarot, okay? All right. I love you. Bye, my beautiful, beautiful Sag.